convergence and coordination, both across technology fields and also across the public, the private and the charitable sectors, will be absolutely key to driving the next wave of genomic innovation. Here at Sanger, we leverage these state-of-the-art genomics capabilities at an unprecedented scale in order to deliver solutions to some of society's most challenging problems. My research lab is trying to understand how the genetic changes that occur in cancer cells create vulnerabilities that we can develop medicines to exploit. The challenge we face, though, is that not all cancers are the same. And so what we need to do is use science at scale to look across the diversity of human cancers and understand how they vary genetically and ultimately address that diversity that exists in cancer patients to make new medicines. When you start 10 clinical programs, and nine are going to fail, and that's called attrition. By using genetics information, you are twice more likely to have a successful drug discovery program. So what we want to do is identify drug targets, and we want to do that you know, with world-leading institute in genetics and genomics. The Human Cell Atlas is similar in scope and ambition to the Human Genome Project. We're creating a 3D Google map of the human body, allowing people to zoom into the organs, tissues, and ultimately the 37 trillion cells in our body. The Human Cell Atlas will reveal new secrets about our bodies throughout our lifespan and could lead to major healthcare advances. So from inception in 2014, Congenica is now a global company and we were spun out from the Sanger Institute from the Deciphering Developmental Disorders Project and we developed it further to make it into a accredited diagnostic platform so that more mainstream clinicians can now start to look at genomic data in the context of all the other clinical information that they have in their patients and it's going to revolutionise the whole of medicine from treatment options all the way through to diagnosis. So we at CICF had really positive experiences working with Sanger and investing in two of the spin-outs so far. Um, the things that are so unique about these companies is that they're based on 10 even more years of academic research. And so when they've been presented to us, they're already well established with proof of concept and are able to tackle the problems that few others have the bravery to do. And it's that bold ambition that makes these companies really exciting and an attractive investment opportunity for venture capitalists. The new company that we, we formed uh, just over two years ago, Next Gen Diagnostics NGD, was entirely intertwined with the intellectual relationships that arose on campus. I recognized that whole genome sequencing as it becomes increasingly inexpensive, can, will, and should come into the clinic. Let's think about how this technology can make an impact. Let's think about starting a company. And it's now one of the most important things that I'm doing. It wouldn't exist if we hadn't opened up, serendipitously opened up the office here. Here at Sanger, we have created an exceptional genomics ecosystem, very much based around the outstanding intellectual capital, but leveraged by innovative companies in the genomics center. And it's fair to say, some of these companies could not have been formed anywhere else in the world. Collectively, we provide a unique opportunity for future innovation in genomics.